everyone, and welcome to this Saturday afternoon presentation of NBA Basketball, right here on 2K Sports. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, this is Kevin Harlan, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Welcome to the American Airlines Arena, home of the Miami Heat, and a great, great venue for basketball. And it's the Warriors to start out. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Inside, we've got Draymond at the four and Pachulia to his side. Thompson and Durant, the sharpshooters at the two and the three. And it's Curry in at the point. Justice Winslow, the Duke product, can give you a lot on the wing. The questions are what he can do consistently offensively, but you know he's a very good team player on both ends of the floor. Thompson against Waiters. Pass to Dragic. Five to shoot. Once again, Dragic in attack mode makes things happen with the drive. The Heat shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Yeah, last season, around 71% of the free throws made. And you know what? That has to be a point of emphasis this year. Free throw drops for Goran Dragic. Well, when it comes to free throws, Dragic is just money from the line. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And Brent, in your younger years, your dad, of course, played for the Golden State Warriors. We have connections with the Bay Area, certainly. Any memories of watching the old Warriors team play? Well, of course, Kevin. I was a ball boy when I was four years old, and I remember getting into the locker room and you know, having a chance to get on the practice court and riding to the arena with my dad. And, and then my years in high school when I made my way there to watch Run TMC and spent my summers with Chris Mullen trying to get myself ready for the NBA. I love the Bay Area. I love where I'm from, and I have to admit it. Uh, I love the Warriors. Here's Waiters. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. From past the arc. And it's Durant with the rebound. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I talked with head coach Steve Kerr. They did get a win in the last game against this team, but he told me we're facing a dynamite offense. We were lucky to get a win the last time. We need to have discipline and detail tonight and try to minimize mistakes. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. He really has them focused on not letting this game turn into a shootout. And that's the way you've got to play it against them. I mean, start trading baskets with this group and you play right into their hands. Well, the mindset then has to be about a physical basketball game with bodying up the bigs and not getting any free runs to the hoop. So let's see if physicality becomes a part of this one. Here's Curry. The Heat knocking down the tray. Outside Durant. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Rogic kicks to Winslow. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Back to Dragic. Raiders against Durant. Off the screen. Raiders no luck. The Warriors have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Thompson against Waiters. Fires it up. And it's off the back rim. No good. I still love the shot selection. The defense wasn't really a factor. You need to be more aggressive guarding the mid-range. Rockets the pass to Autobio. He kicks it to Waiters. And 
fouled on the shot, so the bucket counts and a chance for one more here. And he prefers to have the ball in his hands to break down the defense. Waiters with the explosive drive there. Brett, last season you can think of several huge plays and big shots for Deion Waiters. He had a handful of game winners for his team. And one thing Waiters has is the confidence to take that last shot with the game on the line. Well, I remember the quote from Waiters where he said, I'd rather go 0 for 30 than 0 for 9. Because if you go 0 for 9, that means you stop shooting. I guarantee you any coach he plays for would have him stop at 0 for 9. But the confidence is there always for Deion Waiters. Warriors trail by four. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Curry against Dragic. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Curry can't get it to go. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that. Well, it's like Thanksgiving out there. Carving out space off the screen. Just couldn't complete the play. Rogic kicks to Richardson. Just five to shoot. Here's Waiters. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. There's the pick. Green kicks to Curry. Again, Curry missing. A heat leading by four. Now Winslow. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Green dishes to Curry. Kicks it to Durant. Outside, Green. Thompson in the corner. No good from outside. Miami's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Feeds to Waiters. Pass to Autobio. Here's Dragic. And the layup's good off the glass. Terrific patience around the paint area from Dragic there. Calmly knocks one down from the interior. Curry against Dragic. They kick it out to Green. Picked by Pachulia. Trying to get back on track. And a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Yeah, it's important for Draymond Green to take and make those shots, especially in this Warrior offense. A huge pressure release. Winslow, the pass to Waiters. Over Thompson. Waiters, no luck. They got to fight through things like this right now. His team needs him to shoot better. He's just had a tough quarter. Baggage against Curry. Durant kicks to Thompson. Six to shoot. Over in the corner, Green. They grab their own miss. That's where I like the shot selection. The defense cannot afford to give up wide open shots. And they dodged the bullet there. Waiters gets a wide open look, and it's Waiters again missing. And you just get the sense the whole period he's been a bit out of sync. Yeah, sometimes you just can't figure out what's wrong, but he keeps trying to push through. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. When a team signs Pachulia, they're getting a solid center, Brent, but they're also getting an enforcer for their team. Well, there are a lot of players in the NBA, Kevin, at the center position who are unwilling to accept maybe what the modern-day center has to do, especially a guy that doesn't have a tremendous amount of skill. That is, set screens, go out and rebound, and be an enforcer. That's exactly what Pachulia provided for the Warriors in his first year.
Johnson. He's checked in for the Heat. Waiters passes to Autobio. Outside Dragic. And again, it's the Heat missing. The Warriors trailing. Curry dishes to Pachulia. From deep. And Winslow pulls it down. Miami's gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Adebayo. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And Brent, 14 years in the NBA, you spent about half your time on the defensive end. Of all the guys you were matched up against, who was surprisingly difficult to cover? It's funny, Kevin, because uh, a lot of coaches would tell you I did not spend half of my time on the defensive <laughs> end. Uh, but uh, well, <laughs> I know better. I know better. <laughs> surprisingly difficult to stop, I would tell you, it would be Mitch Richmond. Mm. Many years in Sacramento playing for the Kings. He was known as the Rock, and I can tell you why. Running into him and his, and his physicality as a two guard. Uh, was very, very difficult to stop. One of the game's greatest two guards. Sturdy, was it? I mean, just, he was thick. He was hard to, uh, right, hard to move is what I think about. He was, he was very thick and physical, which was something that I, I was certainly not. And they also ran uh, a myriad of screens for him on every possession. The most potent offensive player they had was Mitch Richmond, and they would get him open every time. So a very difficult cover for me. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. You watch the Heat play, you watch their young athletes, and you think about the conditioning of all of their players. Allegedly, they have one of the toughest practice regiments in the league. I don't think guys get too fired up about their training camps, but certainly pays off throughout the course of the season. And here's Winslow after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. There's a good screen. Shot clock at six. Winslow with it, guarded now by Durant. Goes up at the stripe. No good off the front iron. And for the Heat, Brent, as bad as the workouts might be, the payoff is there. Yeah, it's always amazing how many former Heat players talk about going down there and getting ground down. And if you're getting ground down in just a workout, what the heck are the practices like? So this is not a franchise or a team that's for everybody in the league, but that's what the Heat do. They sift through those kind of guys and then find out what Miami Heat players are out there and available, and then they bring those guys in. Now Thompson. Following the miss by Draymond Green from deep. And the pass to Thompson. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Thompson's got five. Yeah, it does not take long for Clay Thompson to get one off from the three point line. That's deadly. Agage against Curry. Durant with the steal. And taken away by Johnson. Drogic gets the bucket. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Timeout called the Warriors. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. And last season, the Heat showed that they can score and attack you from many different sources. Well, the Heat have a team where one player can step up for them on any given night, and they improve their outside shooting so much. So many guys had a tremendous year from behind the three-point line. They opened up the floor a bit. So with Dragic running the point and using his speed, they had some other gunners out there who got into a great rhythm, and certainly that winning streak helped their confidence. Tyler Johnson, he's checked in for the Heat. Ellington comes in for Goran Dragic. The Warriors also with a sub. Caspi, he's checked in for Pachulia. Johnson against Durant. Thompson up top. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Seven points in the game. Oh, great ball movement there. Here is Ellington. Johnson outside. Passes it to Autobio. There's the pick. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. 
and had the right idea there in calling for the screen, but he was just slow to get to the spot and didn't get set. A lot of this is just poor effort right now. He knows what the timing of the play should be. And gets a little lazy about what it could be. Now here's Durant. He's got six. Here's Thompson again, Golden State. Well, the defense looking at him like a Rubik's Cube. They cannot figure him out. He continues to light him up from the field. More importantly, they're winning. Here is Ellington. Johnson outside. He dishes it to Ellington. He feeds it to Johnson. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Jacks up a three. Doesn't go that time. And Golden State will come the other way. And, and Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Now, here's Thompson. He's got nine. And the foul on Tyler Johnson. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And, and really a tough break for the D. Olenek, he's checked in for Autobio. Patrick McCaw, he's checked in for Golden State. Now the feed to Casper. They set the pick. Green, the screen. Misses off the right iron. The Heat trail by five. And Olenek kicks to Ellington. The dish to Johnson. Back to Olenek. Pass to Ellington. Johnson in the corner. Takes a three. And it's Johnson again missing. To the paint. Here's Durant. And Kevin Durant with the slam. How about the overall ball movement? Green whipping the rock over to his open teammate. Good look. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Winslow is setting the pick for Johnson. Johnson kicks to Olenek. Johnson, the pass to Olenek. Trying to get back on track. Another miss by Johnson. Warriors leading by seven. To the middle. And then Durant with the jam. Like the connection there. KD has his teammates looking out for him. An outstanding alley-oop that time. It was beautiful the first time. But Under Armour showing us the replay of that tremendous alley-oop again. Another unleash chaos moment. Now here's Johnson. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. I really like the awareness, noticing that he's got the mismatch. And then he just used his size as his advantage on the layup. James Johnson, the journeyman forward, the kind of player that can eat up minutes at either forward position, Brent, and just do whatever he has to do to contribute to the team on offense. Again, one of the guys who last year benefited from an incredible run from the teammates around him, and his skills were on full display. At his size, puts the ball down, shoots the three, goes in and will dunk on somebody. Played with incredible aggressive mindset last year and became a candidate for one of the league's most improved players. Forty one seconds left here in the opening quarter. Curry on the wing. Ellington defending. Baseline jumper. And that one comes up a bit short. Well I'll tell you what he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. No problems knocking that one down. Ellington's got himself on the board with three there. I just really like how Tyler distributes the basketball skilled it quickly getting the ball over to the open man. Here's McCall. He's guarded by Johnson. Green the screen to the left side wing. Caspi for three. The shot will not fall. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Golden State Warriors. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Right back after this break. And the basketball bloodlines of Clay Thompson. He tells us how his father and brother have become so involved with his success. Dad always watches more film than me. And I watch film too. Not saying I don't. But um he just they're both fans and they um have a huge passion for the game. That's why they're still around it. 
Yeah, you know, it's great to have that blend of support and competitiveness around you uh, really your whole life. Yeah, you can try to put a little something, something over there on your coaches from time and again, even your teammates maybe, but family, they'll check you every time. And off we go, a close game now starting the second quarter. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? I mean, they're winning the turnover battle, and, and oftentimes that can swing things your way. Well, they're taking care of the ball. They're attacking on defense, and this has them out to a big lead after one. Wayne Ellington is out there with Tyler Johnson. Then it's Kelly Olynyk. Then it's Josh Richardson. And it's Johnson in at the four-man position. So that's who Miami starts the second with. Well, the defense better look up and say thanks. Leaving guys that wide open is not a recipe for success. McCaw kicks it to West. At the top of the key, Livingston. Here's McCall. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Sinks the three-pointer. McCaw has got the first basket of the second quarter for the Warriors. The Heat trail by six. Ellington dishes to Johnson. Johnson outside. Johnson sets the screen for Johnson. Olenek the pass to Johnson. Johnson the screen. Ellington from outside. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. I like seeing Josh Richardson distribute the ball, especially when his teammates are wide open. That makes for an easy pass. McCaw kicks to Livingston. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's Richardson. Johnson outside. Johnson kicks to Richardson. They set the pick. Lent it go with a three. Johnson's shot is off. Well, he definitely forced that shot, guys. He had plenty of time to adjust himself and kick the ball out and look for a better shot. Have to give credit to the defense there, too. Here is Bell. Back to Livingston. And that one is stuffed right through. Well, six foot seven, Sean Livingston still can get up there and rock the rim. Ellington kicks to Johnson. Johnson outside. To the inside. Here's Olinick and the dunk by Olinick. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the ba the basket guy still shaking. Timeout called the Warriors. And Brent, so often we talk about star power in the NBA. Who are some of the guys flying under the radar that could soon become those the, the, that star power, that household name? Well, I think Indiana has an opportunity to hold on to a good one in Miles Turner, a center that just spent one year in college, has shown some signs of rapid improvement. And being in Indiana as a five man that can step out, shoot the mid-range jump shot, finish at the rim, handle the basketball, he is definitely a guy I have my eye on as taking the next step and being a star in this league. Durant's checked in for Casper. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. Now here's Livingston. And Bell kicks it to West over Johnson. Ellington grabs the miss. You can see how clued in the defense is to take away those mid-range shots and challenge. Solid at getting a hand up in the face of the scorers. Now here's Johnson trailing by five. Richardson kicks to Olenek. For three, Ellington. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. Warriors have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Here's Bell right through the D for the layup. 
those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And Olenek kicks to Richardson. Olenek, a screen on Durant for three Ellington. Warriors with the rebound. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Guys, Kevin Durant is a unique player. Ron James said he's a seven-footer with six-foot ball handling skills, jump shot, and athleticism. It's never been done in our league. Never had a guy that's seven foot and can do all that, so it sets him apart. Kevin, I'm six feet tall, and I can broadcast. <laughs> you can, and you can write, and by the way, you're in the Hall of Fame. DA, thank you. Warriors leading by seven. Durant dishes to Livingston. A shot is good, and so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. Out, this is out. just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Timeout called the Heat. Love the way that Sean Livingston goes to work when he's on the floor. He knows exactly what his strengths are and how to run an offense. He can act as a scorer at times and usually does it from that mid-range post area. As a guard, not many three-point shots, but devastating from about eight feet out. The Heat making a switch here. Winslow's checked in. The Warriors also with a sub. Thompson's checked in. Now here's Ellington. He has six. A shot by Johnson, no good. Trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but thus far, not working. Yeah, I hope it hasn't gone to his head. He may be trying too hard at this point. Durant against Johnson. Now here's Durant. He's tightly guarded. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And with the height that John Livingston has, he provides a mismatch for smaller guards. Also can pass right over the top of him. Brent, I got to tell you, he reminds me a bit of how you used to play. Well, there's no way that I had that kind of post game, Kevin, but it's very nice of you. I appreciate that. Sean does a great job, however, of finding the spots on the floor where he can be most effective. He does not try to do things whenever he's not at that 12 to 16 foot range where he does most of his damage. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Pick by West. Five on the clock. From deep three-point range. It's hauled in by the Heat. Johnson's got four rebounds now tonight. Dishes it to Ellington. Johnson outside. Johnson outside. Shot to end this cold run. Out of bounds. Golden State takes possession. And the Heat with some changes. Waiters comes in for Johnson. And it's Drogic in for Wayne Ellington. Golden State also making some changes. Green, he's checked in for Bell. Patrick McCaw comes in for David West. And Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. Curry passes to Thompson. Curry with it. Now guarded by Dragic. Green, the screen. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And that's 12 points for Clay Thompson. The Heat trail by 12. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Dragic kicks to Olenek. Miami no good on that time either. Oh, you just relish those kind of opportunities. And the defense got lucky, but they need to guard that area of the floor a little bit better. And he can smell blood in the water. Excellent finish. Yeah, when your opponent's down and frustrated, this is when you could turn it up. Here's Dragic. Kevin Durant picking up that last basket. Winslow is setting the pick for Waiters. Johnson the screen. Now here's Waiters. Defense is right there. Well, we don't have a chalkboard here to draw it up, but if you could explain it, what's your favorite inbounds play 
when you really need a bucket. All right, Kevin, so the guy goes to the right, he comes off the down pick, and then on the backside you run the hammer and you dribble to the right side, you throw along the baseline, but you're looking for the four man on the slip and also the five man's popping back for the jump shot. Got it? I got it. I like to run the hammer. Run the hammer. <laughs> First free throw is good. Still struggling to find some consistency as an offensive player, but Waiters does get to the free throw line a fair amount for a guy who shoots so many threes. No good on the second free throw. Well, you look at this Warriors team, so many players with height that can hit a three, bring the ball up court, and create a shot for someone else. Actually, Brent, it sounds a lot like you. That being said, do retired players ever dream of playing on a team like this, this talented? Well, I think a lot of guys always think about when they're watching an NBA team play, especially ones that play a style with which you were very familiar with, that they want to put themselves out there on the floor and run the break and shoot threes. And yeah, I, I'm a little jealous about the way the Warriors go about their business. It would be a ton of fun to be spotted up with Kevin Durant and Steph Curry sitting out there on the wing. Warriors leading by 10. On the wing, Thompson. Green dishes to Thompson. Over Waiters. Offensive rebound. And uh, Miami shooting 32% overall right now. Not one of their better showings. On the wing, Johnson. He has six. Let's it go from 14. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And the Heat making a change here. Richardson's checked in. And clearly, Eric Spolstra wants to talk it over. Yeah, you know, some of it's shot selection, some just bad luck, and they just can't get anything going. Well, coming out of the timeout, let's see if they go for the outside shot or if they look to go inside, try to build some confidence by seeing that ball go in. Near the three-point line, it's Dragic. Green with the rebound. Green's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to McCaw. Thompson for three. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in ten attempts. And that's his second in this quarter, guys. He's made three so far this game and is showing no signs of slowing down. Dragic against Curry. Dragic, the pass to Olenek. That's in coming off an assist from Dragic. Olenek has got five points now this quarter. And they may be leaning a little too heavily on the three-pointer when, when there are better looks to be had inside. There's the screen. Outside Green. Green with a screen for Thompson. Over Waiters. That one wide left. The Heat trail by 10. And here's Richardson outside. Amon Green with the rebound. Green's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Outside Curry. He kicks it to Durant. Outside Green. Pocket six. And Curry has it in the corner. Another three for Golden State. And good passing. Setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Curry against Dragic. Kicks to Waiters. Screen by Olenek. 
off the screen. Waiters no luck. This is when you're just surprised that a guy would miss that kind of look. The defense really did not do a lot there. And uh, Miami shooting 31%, not looking sharp offensively, to say the least. And the dunk by Winslow. Oh, I thought Winslow was going to rip that rim off. What a dunk. Warriors leading by 11. Outside Curry. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. Ah, that floater is a thing of beauty, effective when it's used the right way. Waiters outside. Rogic kicks to Richardson. Olenek sets a screen for Richardson. Feeds it to Olenek. Rogic with a wide open look. Drains it from beyond the arc. Dragic has got nine. Well, the ball was not in Goran Dragic's hands very long. Just a great job by him firing it up immediately without hesitation. Here's McCall. Durant wide open. He fires. Another three for Golden State. Oh, a little punch, counter punch action. Neither side flinching here. Yeah, both sides trying to keep up with one another, but doing it from distance. Now here's Dragic. Screen by Olinick. Dragic dishes to Olenek. Winslow kicks to Dragic. Olenek, a screen on green. Here's Waiters. An easy layup after coming off the pit. He's got six. Well, Waiters and confidence, they go together pretty well. 19 seconds left here in the second. Thompson with it. He's got 15. There's the pick outside Curry. That's in coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. Yeah, that's what you pay to see Steph Curry three pointer just impeccable form. And so it's the Golden State Warriors sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting everything dropping in for them. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline. All right Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting and our spacing and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. It's the 2K Sports Halftime The first half show. of the books. This is Ernie Johnson. This is Shaquille O'Neal. This is Ken Smith. Welcome back. Ken? Ken, as we Ken. break down the action. Clay Thompson putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He ended up with 15 points, three assists, and one rebound. The first two quarters went very well for him. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, the key obviously was the huge scoring half by Klay Thompson. Because he plays with so many stars, he knows exactly when to be unselfish and when to push his own agenda. One of the quickest triggers in the league, and he gets it done on the defensive end as well. And over to Shaq, what'd you think about Miami? Well, they got a ton of issues to work out. Allow way too high a percentage to be shot against them. Not really showing any energy on defense, no discipline. Look at their faces, Ernie. Do they even want to be here? That's it for halftime, as the second half is just about to get underway. We return now to Miami, where you can see all the action happening on Ocean Drive, right on the beachfront. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. The Heat trail by 14. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Offense and defense with Durant and Draymond at the three and the four. 
The sharpshooters Curry and Thompson are at the one and the two. And it's Pachulia in at the five, roaming the paint. An extremely fluid athlete with sneaky explosiveness. It's a wonder Durant doesn't block more shots. Dragic, the pass to Autobio. Over Pachulia. And they had their chances, two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. And they start the second half with three straight misses. And for Kevin Durant, one area that he excelled in last season was his rim protection. He used his length and timing to disrupt a lot of shots. And I think that's what he focused on. Joining the Warriors, you knew he was going to score, but he wanted the responsibility and came through defensively for Golden State. And Waiters kicks to Richardson. There's the pick. The pass to Winslow. Just five to shoot. He can't hit that time. Warriors leading by 16. Here's Green. And the Warriors tack on two more. And Durant's rim protection was a big help to the Warriors and the defense, certainly. Durant and Green, Brent, combined to be one of the best defensive duos in the NBA. And I'm not sure if we still think of Kevin Durant in the stopper mode, Kevin. I think we were really shocked, though, last year about how effective he could be as a team defender, using his length and having an impact around the rim and painted area like he did last year. The shot by Autobio, no good. Durant dishes to Thompson. Back to Durant. Green, the screen. Durant, the pass to Green. Thompson outside. It's Autobio with the rebound. The Heat trail by 18. Winslow up top. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Great self-confidence from Winslow on that play, taking it up strong inside. Curry kicks to Green. There's the screen. Back to Curry. Shoots the three. Rebound by the Heat. Dragic has got three rebounds now in this one. For the three. Another miss by Dragic. And not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. And Curry has it in the corner. Rogic with some nice D. And lots of credit for the team around him. They're picking up the slack here tonight. He just can't buy a bucket right now. Autobio passes to Dragic. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Dragic has got 11 points. Well, the D was present and put up a good fight, but ultimately Dragic with the KO. Durant dishes to Pachulia. Green with a screen for Durant. Goes up off the pick. And the Warriors miss again. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Winslow kicks to Dragic. Passes it to Autobio. And it's blocked. That's great anticipation by Pachulia using his length to turn that shot away. Durant kicks to Pachulia from downtown. And it's Durant that time on the assist by Pachulia. And that's 18 points for Kevin Durant. The Heat trail by 17. Now a timeout, timeout, timeout. called by Miami. Brent, one of the tougher things a franchise can go through is transitioning from one era to the next. Well, the Heat have done a pretty good job, especially with how much incredible attention surrounded the big three that was formed down in Miami behind LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and their franchise player in Dwayne Wade. So most teams blow it up, and it takes seven or eight years to get back to any kind of prominence. But with Eric Spolstra and Pat Riley in the fold, the Heat have remained competitive and have some young players to build around. Dragic gets the bucket. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. Curry kicks to Thompson. He dishes it to Green. Over Richardson. Green, no luck. Miami's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Outside Dragic. They set the pick. And there's the whistle. That's Illegal green. screen. Yeah, still moving a little bit when he set that screen. He'll argue that he was set, but I, I really didn't think so. 
No, that's a good call. Just keep arguing with the officials because they change that call all the time. Not. And Thompson kicks to Durant. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And after Kevin Durant made his decision to leave the Oklahoma City Thunder, he instantly became one of the most polarizing players, it seemed, Greg, in the NBA. Uh, listen, Kevin Durant has always been a star in this league, but now he's become the story. It's something that he can handle but doesn't try to seek out. Well, was able to prove all the naysayers wrong mm. and, and just mm. having another amazing season. That free throw good from Durant. Well, the pure length of Durant makes his shot so difficult to contest. Just one of many reasons he lives at the free throw line. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And the Warriors do a lot of things at a high level, but perhaps the most pleasing to the eye is their ball movement, Brent. The entire roster is unselfish, and they love to make that extra pass. Well, you think about how much they are divergent from what the NBA has always been known for. Pick and roll basketball, isolation plays, driving to the basket. They actually are dead last in a lot of those categories and end up moving the ball, moving themselves, and finding tremendous shots for each and every individual that's on the floor. Think about last year alone, Kevin, averaging 30 assists a game. That's some beautiful basketball. Drogic gets the bucket. Now the D has done a very poor job at contesting him from outside, guys. He's tearing into them right now, and they cannot stop him. Durant, the pass to Pachulia. Back to Durant. Over Richardson. And Durant gets it to go. The assist by Pachulia. 21 points for Kevin Durant. Just impossible to get the KD from the mid-range, showing a smooth shooting stroke. Rogic against Thompson. Rogic dishes to Waiters. And that's number four. Definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. James Johnson checked in for Miami. Here's Rogic. He's got 17. Pass to Autobio. Six on the shot clock. Back to Dragic. Fires from deep. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Curry outside. The basket good off the assist from Durant. Durant's got three assists in the game. The Heat trail by 20. And here's Dragic. Shoots off the screen, and it's Durant with the rebound. Durant's got rebound number five here tonight. Thompson for three. Another three for Golden State. And practically doubling his assist totals over the back half of his career. Durant's a more than willing facilitator. Whatever his team needs to win, he'll do it. Waiters with a screen on Curry. Pass to Autobio. Johnson outside. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, easy call. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And just a shade over 70% from the line a season ago. That's an area I'm sure he wants to improve. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Uh, the Heat story last year was about some kind of rekindling. At the beginning of the year, really struggling. And then all of a sudden, they just burst into flames. They were right in the playoff hunt after the All-Star break. An incredible turnaround for Eric Spolstra and his staff. Catching up on the changes with Miami. Tyler Johnson comes in for Deion Waiters. And Ellington is subbed in for Goran Dragic. 
and the Heat last season, winning 30 of their final 41 games of the season. They would finish Brent at 500, but they had to work to get there. Amazing to think that even with that turnaround, maybe just one game could have made the difference for the Heat getting into the playoffs. It ended up becoming Chicago as the eighth seed, and they beat the Heat two times last year. It's Curry outside. Another miss by Curry. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. He feeds it to Thompson. Over Johnson. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Curry. 20 points for Clay Thompson. Man, Clay Thompson, when he gets moving like this, big, big things happen. Ellington kicks to Winslow. Johnson outside. Winslow setting the pick for Johnson. Johnson, the pass to Autobio. Heat moving the ball around. Johnson with it. Picked up by Thompson. Three-pointer Ellington. And Durant sends it back. And the Warriors with some changes. Bell is checked in for Pachulia. And West subs in for Draymond Green. Now here's Curry, Ellington defending. Here's the screen, and Thompson kicks to Durant. Shoots over Winslow, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. And uh, Miami shooting 32% overall right now, not one of their better showings. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Go back over the history of the Warriors and something I'm quite familiar with growing up in the Bay Area, the fans of this team really suffered through a lot now enjoying the golden age of Golden State Warrior basketball. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And the Warriors, as we all know, were a slumping franchise from the late 70s up until this current run. Only six playoff appearances from 1978 to 2012. Yeah, you don't need to tell me that, Kevin, because I was going through the games growing up as a kid in the Bay Area. But amazing to see that this franchise has found some success and that they found it in Oakland for the fans who have starved for this kind of play for so long. 40 years between championships and now the golden era for the Golden State Warriors. Well, you just watch the way that Klay Thompson shoots and you're surprised when the ball doesn't go in. <laughs> I mean, one thing with Klay, too, and his shot, he believes it's always going to go in. More importantly, so does his teammates. And he's got that shooter's mentality where he just will continue to trust in his mechanics. And I don't think he gets enough credit for just how hard he works to maintain that shot. Two shots. Relax on the first. That free throw good from Thompson. One thing with Clay Thompson, Brent, when he gets it going, he recognizes it and looks to take over games. You saw it when he led that huge comeback for the Warriors in the 2016 playoffs against the Thunder, and you saw it when he went for 37 points in a quarter. There are just a few players in the league that can do some of the things, especially when they're hot like Clay Thompson does. I even think back to last year during the finals, Clay Thompson struggling offensively and then all of a sudden coming up with a huge first quarter where he scored 16 points against the Cavs to help get the Warriors going. Winslow is screen on Thompson. Ellington from outside. It's rebounded by Golden State. Durant's got rebound number seven for him tonight. West can't hit. And uh, Miami shooting just 31% in the game. Now the pass to Autobio. Back to Ellington. Johnson dishes to Ellington. Six on the shot clock. There's a screen. It's stolen by Bell. 
the 15-footer, and he hits the jump shot. Bell's got his second basket. I mean, if you're looking to get back into this game, you have to get tougher defensively. And that replay presented by Under Armour showing us the fantastic steal that led to that fast break finish. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Ellington the pass to Winslow. Johnson outside. Ellington kicks to Johnson. The feed to Johnson. Five on the clock. Johnson the screen. Let's it go from deep. And Ellington is good for three. Ellington's got nine. That screen made it impossible for the defense to put up any kind of fight. Here's Curry. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Johnson outside. Passes it to Autobio. Johnson outside. Here's Ellington, not a lot of room. There's three-pointers off the mark. Warriors leading by 22. Inside, here's Bell, rebound by the Heat. And forcing the miss there, he just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. Johnson dishes to Johnson. Over Durant. And Durant sends it back. Golden State's gone four or six from three-point land since the start of the second half. Curry passes to Thompson. Golden State moving the ball around. Durant for three. Good on the three-point shot. Durant's got nine points here in the second half. Well, for a tall guy, Durant has such dexterity and rhythm on the catch and shoot. It's just interesting to watch. There's 14 seconds left to play in the third. Johnson with a screen on Thompson. Ellington kicks to Johnson. There's the dish to Johnson. And that one goes long. Bell. That shot off. And so it's the Golden State Warriors holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And a moment ago, inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Great start, fellas. Clay, your cutting is awesome. Your movement without the ball. Is... And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. The Warriors shooting 52% from the floor. Nice work so far from them. Johnson is out there with Olenek. And it's Tyler Johnson. Then there's Wayne Ellington. And it's Richardson in at the three. That's the group in the game for the Heat. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. I don't think anybody around the league does this, but a lot of fans do. Eric Spolstra won two championships while in Miami as the head coach of the Heat. Of course, he had the big three, but he was the one that orchestrated and got those guys to work things out to become title contenders for the years they were together. And Brent, I was looking up what you said about Spolstra and his multiple NBA titles. Less than 15 coaches ever have done that. I mean, you're an incredibly special coach to be on that kind of list. And you feel like Eric Spolstra doesn't quite get the recognition from the general NBA public, certainly amongst the coaching ranks. These guys look at what Eric Spolstra was able to do with that roster and marvel at the young guy's efforts and exploits during that time. Bell with a screen on Richardson. Pass to McCaw. There's a screen. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one.
shooting too, gentlemen. And he can't get the first one. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. Here's Richardson. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. Well, Richardson came in shooting threes and thought that might be the only thing he could do. He's no one-trick pony. Livingston kicks to Bell. Pass to McCaw. Pick by West. Here's McCaw. He's guarded by Johnson. Unloads. No good off the front iron. Heat shooting just 31% in the game. And Olenek kicks to Ellington. Johnson outside. Back to Olenek. Shoots from the baseline. Warriors with the rebound. Caspi's got three rebounds so far in the game. Here's McCaw, got a piece of it, and they'll keep possession. And it was not a clean block. Whistle blows and a foul on the defender here. It's a shooting foul, so free throws will be coming up. A free throw drops for Bell. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Olenek sets a screen for Richardson. There's the screen. Johnson kicks to Richardson. From deep. Here's Olenek. And he got the whistle, so he'll have a three-point play opportunity. Often he, you find him out on the wing, but Olenek seizing the opportunity to go inside and dig out that extra possession. One shot, gentlemen. Just watch the way the Warriors run their offense and you have to think about the way that Steve Kerr had set things up. So many options and cuts on every play using the three point line to spread out the defense and find angles and niches to attack rarely relies on the ever present NBA isolation plays. And they still need to step up just a little bit. They have the lead but he needs to find himself out there. Now Ellington. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And becoming impatient, that's not how you're going to catch up. Yeah, that's a painful mistake there. All you can do is just shake that one off and try your best to move on to the next play. The Warriors have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. West a screen on Johnson. McCaw, the pass to West. Dishes it to Livingston. He kicks it to Casper. And the Warriors miss again. Miami's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Richardson dishes to Johnson. Kicks to Olenek. 
And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Yeah, and Olenek up and down at the free throw line early in his career. But with his touch, he's bound to become more consistent. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Olenek. And the Warriors making a change here. Durant's checked in. He's off on the second. Here is Caspi. He's guarded by Johnson. McCaw kicks to Livingston. Feeds it to Durant. And the pass to McCaw. Bell with a screen on Johnson. Here's McCaw. And misses it off the right side of the rim. McCaw has gone one for five from the field, 20%. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. <laughs> Ellington from outside gets the three-pointer to fall. Well, he now has four three-pointers this game, guys. Two in each half. He's really spacing out the floor for his teammates. Livingston kicks to Caspi. And it's good assisting on the play was Livingston. A little tit-for-tat action going on on the back-to-back -back trays. Yeah, a little gamesmanship from range could force both defenses to maybe extend out a little further. Olenek sets a screen for Johnson. Johnson kicks to Richardson. He dishes it to Johnson. Shot clock at five. The Heat need to get a shot off. Ellington from outside. That shot misses. So Golden State will take it the other way. Here's Caspi. And the call will be against Patrick McCall. That's his third foul of the game. Goran Dragic is checked in for Wayne Ellington. Then for the Warriors, Raymond Green comes in for Bell. And it's Clay Thompson in for McCall. Miami's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Rogic the pass to Richardson. Johnson outside. He feeds it to Dragic. Dragic with a screen for Johnson. And Olenek kicks to Johnson. There's Dragic with the three. Connects from three-point range. Dragic has got 11 in the second half. The screen from Thompson. Livingston dishes to Durant. Thompson in the corner. Another three for Golden State. Well, he's building off that strong first half he had. I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure him out in the second. Miami's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. And there's the feed to Johnson. Passes it to Dragic. Johnson outside. Dragic with a screen for Johnson. Richards in the pass to Johnson. There's the dish to Dragic. Over Thompson. Green with the rebound. The Warriors have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. And it's Dragic with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. They set the screen. Thompson for the triple. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Thompson's got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Warriors. He'd have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Johnson outside. Pass to Richardson. Outside Dragic. Back to Richardson. Clock at four. From deep. 
No good from Dragic. And here's Golden State. They're on an 11 to 3 run right now. And Caspi kicks to Livingston. And stolen by Richardson. Johnson in the corner. Back to Richardson. And it's Richardson slamming it down. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Thompson dishes to Livingston. Shoots over Trogic. Rejected by Trogic. And he gets it back. Olenek with the steal. Johnson outside. Pass to Olenek. Dishes it to Johnson. He kicks it to Johnson. Over Thompson. And Trogic with the basket on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got four assists in the game. Warriors have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. They set the screen. Thompson against Johnson. Clock at 6 for 3. Durant. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got rebound number 8 now on the night. 11 feet away, and the jumper falls for him. And that's 11 points for Kelly Olynyk. Well, not a mismatch until you exploit it. That's exactly what he did there from the mid-range. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Yeah, it's a good time to talk things over. Try to stop what's been a brutal run. Yeah, he's got to use every device at his disposal at this point. And I, I think he wants to give other guys a breather right now. And some changes here for the Heat. Winslow's checked in for Johnson. And Deion Waiters subbed in for Tyler Johnson. Curry's checked in for the Warriors. Golden State's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Thompson outside. On the wing, Green. Olenek is covering. Thompson misses. No doubt disappointed with that one. He'd love to have that one back. Yeah, I'd put that play on repeat. The setup was perfect. Just need a better result next time. Screen by Olenek. Kicks it to Dragic. There's Winslow. He can't get that one. And Golden State will come the other way. Durant with it. Now guarded by Winslow. Thompson from long range. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Curry against Waiters. Oh, and the jam by Waiters. Well, he can elevate, and Waiters doing damage that time at the rim. Warriors leading by 22. Durant, the pass to Caspi. To stop the drought. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And Durant sends it back. Shot from the wing. Rebound by the Heat. Winslow's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Richardson. The stupendous finish in traffic. Well, even though he's slightly built, Richardson does play a physical game. Remarkable how much contact he absorbs. Durant against Winslow. And so the ball's out of bounds. Winslow touched it last. Open shot, Thompson. The Heat trail by 20. Here's Richardson. Screen by Olenek. 1.53 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Richardson. And the shot falls short this time. 
These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Uh, how about last year, Draymond Green pulled off one of the more improbable and impossible statistical games. He had a triple-double with points not even being involved. First ever in the NBA. Four points, 12 boards, 10 assists, and 10 steals. Wow. And he knocks down the first one. You know, Brent, thinking back to Draymond's triple-double, he also had five blocks in that game. He was six points away, in fact, from getting a quadruple-double and five from getting a quadruple-double without points. As unreal stat line, and probably a lot of people who still get newspapers, Kevin, looked at those numbers and thought, wow, the printing machine must be broken. That, that game was on another level. And to just have four points in that contest shows you that Draymond Green puts the emphasis on all the other things that he does so well. Here's Waiters. Basket is good, and he'll get a chance for one more at the free throw line. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout, big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. Can you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game? Yeah, there was a sense What's of that. that? And, and, man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for Kevin Durant. You can set a tone with defense, and that's exactly what he did with how he protected the rim. And Curry, here we go. That will fall for his seventh bucket, seven for 15 in this game. Nice recognition from Steph Curry there. Sees the space to shoot into the paint and then took full advantage. And Olenek kicks to Richardson. Screen by Olenek. Waiters with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. No good. Yeah, and the effort and anticipation on defense won't show up in the individual stat sheet, but effective. Yeah, he takes a nice angle on it. He doesn't get the block, but he does get the alter. Outside Durant. Feeds to Curry. But three. Another miss by Curry. Well, it's like the defense has a bunch of matchbooks in their hands right now, playing with fire. They were fortunate that somehow he misfired on that one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Dragic. Both free throws good from Dragic. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And they can just let the clock run out here. Cannot argue with the W. Outside for Durant. The pass to Caspi. Golden State moving it around. Thompson dishes to Green. Six to shoot. Nice open look, but it's no good. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Clay, what is the key to the way you played tonight? Well, I'm just used to the uh, pace of the game by now. And my teammates do a good job of finding me when I'm open. So all credit goes to them. I, I just catch and fire when I'm open. And they found the shooter, and he shot. Thanks, Clay. Back to you, Kevin.
All right, David, thank you. For Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.